The growth of the Austin Metro has meant a lot of changes, and that includes a lot more traffic at the YMCA. Well, so much so, the leaders at the Y want to take stock of all nine local locations and maybe expand or add more. KXAN's Blake Devine breaks down the organization's 2030 strategic plan. I stretched already this afternoon, this morning. Meet Melba Martinez. There's a, a tension. Who joined the Town Lake YMCA in 2021 after surviving a stroke. The benefits are uh, innumerable. There's just there are quantitative and qualitative benefits. Recently, she noticed the Y being busier. If you get here at, at five o'clock in the morning, the parking lot's full. <laughs> and, you know, when you leave, you barely see any parking spots open. Sean Doles works for the YMCA. He says demand at all nine Austin area locations is higher than pre-pandemic levels. Our usage right now for uh, among our members, among program participants, is at an all-time high. We're taking up a lot more space, there's more members, we're bursting at the seams. With this in mind, the Y recently released a strategic plan for 2030, eyeing expansion in areas such as Lakeway, Kyle, and Del Valley. Austin is undergoing explosive growth, we all know that, and so in order to keep up with that need, the, the Greater Austin Y has to grow too. Beyond its current focus on fitness, the nonprofit is trying to address community needs, possibly redeveloping facilities to include housing, childcare, and retail run by local businesses. So that people like teachers and firefighters and other workers, you know, for, for nonprofits like the Y could actually have a place to live in central Austin that is affordable. Like Divine, KXAN News.